Welcome to Introduction to Iridology. My name is Mary L. Reed Gates and I'm a naturopathic doctor and today the subject is going to be on iridology. And I have help with my friend Cheryl. I don't know if you want me to mention your last name or not, but um, she's also into health and natural herbs. And what is your specialty, Cheryl? Just no real specialty, just learning. <laughs> I've been learning for over 10 years. Okay, well, good. Use, just how to use the herbs and things to help help the body. Okay, dokie. All right, now, if you could think back before you ever heard of iridology, and this is common sense, and this is mostly for the people who are going to watch this, I'm going to show two eyes. And as people look at this, I want you to wonder which one belongs to the healthier body? This eye or that eye? What would you say, Cheryl? The first one? Absolutely. And most people know that. They look at this and intuitively they realize, ooh, there's something going on there. And that's how iridology basically started. It started in many parts of the world and in many cultures where people would look at the eyes and notice that an unhealthy person did not have a healthy looking eye. So we're going to go over a little bit of them. Whenever a child is born, they're born either with blue eyes or dark eyes. You don't see babies born with yellow in their eyes or green eyes or orange in their eyes or different colorations where it's dark one place and light another place. These happen as we get older because of our body chemistry. So that's one of the things that the iris can indicate is our body chemistry. The orange in an eye indicates usually that this person has a chromium deficiency. And I have seen people that take um, ample amounts of chromium. Now you can't take too much because it is a trace mineral and it can poison you. But ample amounts of chromium and the orange will go away. Also, I personally used to have eyes that was almost as green as grass or really, really green. Pe people would comment all the time. What they didn't realize and what I didn't at the time is that those green eyes reflected how bad my kidneys were. So the uric acid on top of the blue is what my, made my eyes so green. Now that they're healthier, they're not so pretty anymore. So Mary, how long have you been learning this and teaching this? When did you first discover this? Actually, 20 years ago, over 20 years ago is when I went to my first iridologist. But it's almost 20 years, or I guess I should say since 1990, that I, I've been doing this. Not wow. Yeah. So it's been a while. I've been doing it for a while. Still fascinates me, though. Yeah. The brown indicates toxins from the liver. And when you see whitish haze, that indicates a pH imbalance. Now I want to talk about the P the three most common things are pH imbalance, liver toxins, and a thin nervous system. So though this is an iridology, it helps you understand what you're looking in the eye. Whenever you have a pH imbalance, the body will start robbing calcium from the bones. So it might affect people's lower back. If it's bad and long enough, it's osteoporosis. It robs the body of sodium, especially the joints and the esophagus. So you might get some stiffness in your joints, arthritis, um, acid reflux. It goes through the skin, the bowel, the lungs, and the um, kidneys, and it can affect any of those things. So it's a common cause of a uh, asthma if it's in the lungs. Bowel, it could be colitis or something like that. And if the body has robbed as much as it can, it will start watering it down with mucus. So when you wake up in the morning, it's like <clears throat> before you can talk, or um, you might have to blow your nose in the morning. Not a cold, just an everyday thing. It also, if the pH of your blood is not 7.41, you don't die unless it's between 
below 7.35 or 